stirring it in a while. Let's see what happens. If she don't like it, she's a little low on the battery. We got 27 volts. Well, it'll go flat, you know, in a week, two weeks. Depends where you park it, right? Might be a pressure flat where when you sit it in a certain spot and it opens up and lets the air out. That'll be nice to get the uh, tire fixed. But I gotta go freak off and pick up the, uh, oh no. Gotta go pick up the drive shift today. And go see Jim, bring my scan tool. Cars deckered. Oh yeah, look at this. Freaking rates. The clutch all installed. Hey! I apologize. I just like that sound. But uh yeah, I was doing so oh, yeah, put this thing away. Found out the drive words from my power washer. But yeah, I mean it's just bolting some parts on and uh scrape a little scrapey poo. Got another uh session of scraping and pickling and stuff done on the frame so all the smuts eh, is still on there right so we're gonna push her outside and give her another power it's hard to paint over under curtain you know what i mean so the top's pretty good but the bottom bottom and inside the frame and stuff so we'll push that outside get it up on the hoist be able to do the underside really good because the, the shape of this situation here is Pretty well of the brand new state just needs a little coat of peony right so we'll get her uh get her going not too bad and then we can just bolt the engine in well i want to do the brake lines because the engine's kind of in the way all that do the brake lines bolt the engine in bolt the transmission and set the cab back down we can worry about the body work and all that so i mean i gotta fill in this hole here but i also the whole side's crushed in right so there's no sense in dicking around multiple multiple times get the things so is that it uh, is at least in less than several pieces and go from there but anyways I gotta get my shit together here and uh, yeah grab those drive shifts and go see Jim and then we'll come back and smoke cigarettes we as well have a little gander see what buddy buddy does Well, that was easy. Eventually. <laughs> Need a pickler. Need a pickler. Oh yeah. Wish I had one. I should just bring that over to the shop quick and pickle it. Oh yeah. Oh buddy is a pickle schmidt. How much you wanna bet he'll be getting one of those on the truck? Hey. Good morning. How you doing? There's your treats. Right on. Awesome. Spank you. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. You too. Uh, no. Nope. Right on, thanks. Fire's right up when she's got the power.
No. <laughs> It's much easier when the fucking pump works. Oh sh! Just puking. Whew. We did it. <laughs> Loves the winter. Oh, there's a fucking cold start, bud. Okay. Oh, yeah. the cold starts today. He's got the Princess Auto one. It might be this big. Ain't nothing compared to this. This works good. Holy shit. Stayed away just long enough. Oh. A little poop in there. Yep. You ready for a nap? Laid a log in there for real. <laughs> Next guy's gonna log it. Just like that, easy peasy. <laughs> Oh, 
Awesome, man. Have fun. Yes, sir. Thank you much, Lee. Did you have to dick with the you join I did at all? No. no. I double checked it and made sure everything was okay. All right, on. It's just that the you join at the other end was starting to show shines of like um, impact marks mm -hmm. on it. You know, you get that little groove in mm -hmm. there, and then you start to feel it kind of getting rough. That's the only reason why I changed it. Right on. Just so it doesn't go flying out. And when you put it back, you know it's not. It's got a master spline, so just yeah. line up. Right on. Arrow with arrow. Right on. There's actually two master splines on the other one, so you could put it in. 180 from each yeah. other. And then you come like that. Yeah. And it'll be doing this. <laughs> Like it's not running too bad yet, but I feel like it's like starting to give me warning signs that something needs to be done, you know? Because like last time I drove it, it didn't do it, but like the second last time I drove it, the RPMs, like I'd be like cruising at a steady speed, not moving my foot, and the RPMs would just be like a little bit like, you know? And I guess that's like the main cause of that is like spark plugs, and Buddy told me when I bought the car that it needs spark plugs need to be changed anyway so and i haven't done it yet so mm, what year is this 2009. goes up to 2007. that's what the problem is i seen it on here somewhere yeah ford chrysler this went from 96 to 2007. Oh. <laughs> oh, for sakes. so that's cool oh. but yeah i mean it doesn't sound bad or anything so change spark plugs and yeah. if it was running rough as f then you know it'd be something to concern yourself with but pretty much drive the ball sack off it with zero f but yeah look it up you literally take these plugs you push them in pinch the thing down and pull them out and you pull the coil out and then you unscrew the f uh, plug that's it uh, holy f <laughs> Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, there's only. I just don't understand why. You, like, I, I'll pay a hundred bucks plus spark plugs, you know, because that seems reasonable for the amount of work that it is. But I, like, why would you tell me six hundred dollars? Like, obviously, it's not six hundred dollars worth of work. I should punch you in the face yeah. just for saying that. Because people don't have tools and don't know stuff, so they just like they're like, oh, okay, here's well, my money. Give me a couple of wrenches and. Let but me, really though, like a normal person, you're driving along, oh my car doesn't work, you take it to the mechanic, he's like, oh, 600 bucks plus spark plugs, they're like, okay, you know what yeah, I mean? I'm like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll call that place right now. And if they tell me some ridiculous price, I'll be like, here, I'm going to put you on the phone with my dad, he's going to give you a stern talk or two. You'll be like, how much, 600? Yeah, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> Here you go, Jim. <laughs> you got it all set up for you there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the intake has to come off, yeah. It's just like four screws or something. <laughs> 200. Yeah. All right. Thank you. It's better than 600. What the f*** happened there? Uh, I'm stupid. You fixed my rig before. Tell him I'm gonna get him to safety a bunch of my rigs too here shortly. Tell him my dad's gonna bring his rigs down for safety. Give me a good deal, hundred bucks. Peace. Plus tax. <laughs> That's fine, 115 bucks. And then you fix my car, my dad will come and get a bunch of safeties. he will be like, oh, whoa. I'll be like, buddy, sounds good, hey, buddy, you best. Come on, hook me up. I'm f hurting here. Well, I left you a bunch of urination fumes by That's your good. by your door. So. Oh, right by the door. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Figured you'd like that. Yeah. That's why I like old stuff, because it's like if it doesn't work, it's like not wires and stuff like making it not work. It's something to fix it. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of little gizmos, gadgets, uh, little part, wired, this and that. Yeah. No good.
The only reason they don't make shit like that anymore is so it breaks and you go to buy another one. Yeah. EPR financing and shit. Oh, f smoke cigarettes. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir. Choo chit. Well, she was a brisk one. She turned into an icicle real fast. I should probably shut the hood on my truck and bring my friggin' what's it in too, but <sighs> very cold. Very much too cold for outside, so I quit. I quit that. But that can stay outside for a minute. She's all cleaned up, lippity splips. But uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to break in the video for a special presentation. Rock Pals has come out with his new technologies to where they have a 600 watt, um, what's it, box with batteries to, uh, you know, stovepipe your, your, your cigarette there. So if we're going to tell you the temperature and stuff even. Decent. But uh, yeah, it also comes with this schmancy schmanch solar panel with uh, all type of the schmanciness to it. So it looks like you can just like un unfoldulate it open into the wide factor. I believe this is a 200 watt unit with a 600 watt uh, battery bank. I like using these things rather than, uh, you know, just your car's charger because, you know, when you've got your GoPro and your cell phone and your freaking dash cam and, you know, all your different things, it's too much for the, the car charger. They catch on fire. But this guy here can charge all your, you know, your drone and your freaking accessories, you know? But, yeah, very much pre-story valve. I'll put the link in the prescription for that. And uh, yeah, make sure you pick yourself up one. It's got smancy colors too. And I like how this one's like square, so you can like, you know, put stuff on it like your cell phone or your whatever you're charging and set it right on top. Mucho more better. Holy Schneikowitz, I didn't even notice it had three outlets on the back. <laughs> Sneaky, eh? Look at that. I think I turned her around. Right on, so she's got the three outlets on the back and then the USB. I didn't even realize that. So that's cool. Awesome. Rock Pals, links in the prescription. Smoke cigarettes, but uh, yeah, it's it's like late and stuff. See what happened was a power washer. Put all that stuff away, this and that. Cigarette, you know what I mean? How much is that thing? Cigarette, quit. That's, that's what happens. Oh, she got a little out of hand last night. Still just a freaking ice rink out here. Look at this. Perversion. Do we do at least a semi good job? At least a little bit. I gotta tape off those lines too. They just keep dripping real. Idiot. But yeah, that looks a lot better. Decent. Found a cheap truck, so. You might as well go grab it. Part it out anyway, you know what I mean? Off. This is just, this is cool. This is like, I don't, oh man. Well, we learned something today, boys. Suburban, not seen. Maybe one day this year, we'll really get this frame painted.
she's a little uphill. That on a movie it doesn't look like much, but this drove my hand into the into the sharp bit. Oh. If I don't make a movie, I'll, it'll just never get done. So at some point I'm gonna have to uh, finish the bitchy here. So I was gonna paint her, but she's all wet and frozen, right? So it's gotta warm up and dry dry out a little bit anyways. So we'll, uh, I guess we'll just let it do that. And then we can uh, give her a poop of the rust tutor, get her all lickety splips, and then we'll paint her with some tractor paint. It'll be awesome. You guys even wait? You even wait for that? But uh, don't forget to check out Rock Pals, hey? 600 watt unit there, 200 watt solar panel, links in the prescription. Get yourself a dirty deal on that probably. And we still got some uh, calendars left on OneBookUp.com, so check those out and friggin' uh, different things. But anyways, boys, smoke cigarettes.